Ho, ho, ho. Not me. It's your blonde bombshell. Anyway, I promised you six more stories to read. Well, we're going to get on top of that right now. Then yours truly is going to try and sing two songs. So we're going to see how this works. By the way, my cat Sam here, he wants to visit with us tonight. Say hi. Look at that, right on cue. I couldn't ask for better. Anyway, we have a great book here. I just reached into the pile. This is called Minnie and Moo, The Night Before Christmas. So here we go. Let's see what Minnie and Moo do. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the farm, not a creature was stirring except in the barn. Minnie and Moo sat at a small table, where Minnie poured hot cocoa, and Moo added some marshmallows. And then they show them sitting at the table. We gotta see that. Obviously, the story is about cows. What's in the bag, Minnie asked. Toys, Moose said. Christmas toys for the farmer's grandchildren. I saw the farmer hide them, said Minnie, cutting some fruit cake. But it's Christmas Eve, said Moo. Why didn't he come to get them? That bag has been there for weeks, said Minnie. Maybe he forgot again. He forgets every year, said Moo. She put her cup down and walked over to the window. She looked at the rising moon. It was bright on that white snow. The farmhouse was dark. Those poor children, said Moo. I want you guys to see the pictures, too. They're so good pictures. The farmer lay sleepless with a nary wink. Where are those presents? Are they under the sink? Moo pulled out Santa Claus's suit and a big white beard from an old trunk. We'll get there, I promise. <laughs> Look at this picture in this book, said Moo. See, these clothes are the same ones Santa wears every year. Moo, have you been reading again, Minnie asked. Twas the night before Christmas, Moo said, by Clement Moose. It's a how-to book on delivering Christmas gifts. Moo held up the book. Minnie pointed at Moo. Moo, I know what you're doing. You're thinking. You're thinking of dressing up as Santa and delivering those toys. Not exactly, said Moo. This suit is too big for me, and I was thinking that you... What? Me? Minnie... We can't just drop the toys on the front porch and run away. Why not? asked Minnie. Because it's Christmas, said Moo. Minnie sighed. Hand me the beard, she said. And here's the animals having the discussion. Isn't that the cutest little thing you ever seen? Anyway, we're going to keep going. When to what in the world should a suddenly appear... But a wheelless wheelbarrow and ate my reindeer. Moo dragged an old wheelbarrow across that barn floor. I can't find the wheels, said Moo. Minnie looked at that wheelbarrow. Moo, are you sure? Of course, said Moo. She tied that wheelbarrow to eight chickens standing in a row. She tied the plastic forks to their head. See, said Moo, now we have a sled and eight tiny reindeer. Moo put on that big coat, boots, and a hat. She put on a mustache. Moo, said Minnie, I'm Santa Claus. I know, said Moo, I'm Mrs. Claus. Hey, cows, shouted the rooster. How come I don't get any horns? How come you only gave horns to those chickens? Am I the only one around here who thinks about, all, about me all this time? Moo tied two plastic forks to the rooster's head. 
That's better, he grumbled. The rooster strutted past the chickens, and the boss always gets here. Oh, the boss always goes first, he said. He tied himself to the front of the line. Minnie stared at the rooster. Something's missing, she said. The rooster looked around. What? I know, said Minnie. She took out some lipstick and painted that rooster's beak red. There, now you're Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rooster. Ready, said Moo. Open the barn doors, Minnie yelled. Santa Claus is coming to town. To the top of the porch, look out the wall. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. Moo, moo. <laughs> you try to breathe this song. Moo pushed Minnie to the edge of the hill. Go, Minnie yelled. Moo jumped into the wheelbarrow. It sped downhill faster and faster. Make me proud, girls, shouted that rooster. They hit a bump and soared into the night. Flap, girls, the rooster yelled. Flap, flap, flap. Flap to the left, Moo yelled. Look out for that tree. Flap to the right, Minnie shouted. Look out for that garage. Make up your flapping minds, the rooster yelled. Cute pictures. I really wish you guys could see this whole book. Roof ahead, Moo shouted. Coming down, cried Minnie. The wheelbarrow skipped across the woof. The wheelbarrow skipped across the roof of the house. The snow flew up into the air. The wheelbarrow skidded in the to the chimney and stopped. The chickens lay in a pile, and the rooster dangled over the edge of the roof. Minnie didn't move. Moo walked to the edge of the roof. See, she said proudly, just like in the book. The chimney's too small. Should have checked it before. No problem, don't worry, they'll use the front door. Moo looked down the chimney, and that said that Moo looked down the chimney. The hole is too small, she said. We'll never get down there. Moo turned around. Minnie, where are you? Down here, Minnie called softly. I fell off the roof. Did you try the front door? Moo asked. It's locked, said Minnie. I have an idea. Moo said. Of course you do, Minnie muttered. Moo pulled that rooster up. It's about time, said the rooster. What were you waiting for, spring? Sorry, said Moo. You should be, said the rooster. I'm so cold. I feel like a frozen rump roast. Moo looked down that chimney and said, It's warmer down there. The rooster looked at Moo. So? So why don't you go down the chimney, get warm, and then open the front door for Minnie? What? Are you crazy? He asked. Please, Moo said. The children. The children, said the rooster. What about me? What about... Suddenly the rooster slipped. Ack! He cried and disappeared. Moo looked down the chimney. Thanks, she said. Beneath the lights of the tree, all the presents were spread, while the little ones slept all nestled in the bed. Moo climbed down the ladder. She dragged the bag of toys to the front of the house. You can't see that well. Hold on a second. Moo's dragging those toys, see that, to the front of the house. The door creaked open. Minnie gasped. Who opened? Shh, said Moo. It's the rooster. Ack, said the rooster. Moo, this is not the rooster. The rooster is white. The rooster has tail feathers. Roosters don't ack. That is a penguin, Minnie said. 
I was white, acked the rooster, before I got a free ride down the chimney. The rooster waddled into the house. He even walked like a penguin, Minnie whispered. Minnie, please, let's hurry. Minnie and Moo put the presents under the tree. They stopped. Listen, Moo whispered. Footsteps. The footsteps stopped. The lights went on. There stood Santa and the missus, too. Do you think anyone knew it was Minnie and Moo? It's Santa Claus, shouted the farmer's grandchildren. They gave Minnie a hug. And Mrs. Claus, they yelled, they hugged Moo. The farmer's wife looked at the farmer. You sly old fox, she said, pretending to forget where you hid the children's gifts. The farmer stared at Moo. He stared at that mustache. Millie, how come Mrs. Claus has a mustache? You can't fool me, giggled Millie. I know who they really are. The farmer scratched his head. You do, he asked. The Wilkersons, said Millie. I can tell by their noses. The grandchildren threw their arms around the farmer. Oh, Grandpa, they said. This is the best Christmas ever. Look, shouted another. It's a penguin. Oh, Grandpa, the children clapped. Our very own penguin. One of the children tied a ribbon around the rooster's neck. Don't be shy, she said. Minnie and Moo slipped out the back door. They made such a racket and a hullabaloo jumped into the sleigh, and away they all flew. The children ran to the window. Look, Grandpa, look, Grandma, they shouted. There they go. More rapid than eagles, they flew past the moon, while Santa played tuba and Mrs. Claus played the bassoon. Hooray for Christmas, they were heard to proclaim. Children and Christmas are one and the same. Millie rested her hand gently on the farmer's arm. John, she whispered, I don't think that was the Wilkerson's. And that is the end of this book. So you got to stay tuned because we've got more to come.